Now, welcome back to another episode of the San Andreas 100% walkthrough, guys. This is Body Harvest, the first mission for the Truth, who's a really good character, voiced by Peter Fonda, no less. Um, we do see a return in this cutscene of Frank Tenpenny, who basically puts the Truth, uh, well, he puts Carl onto the Truth, or puts the Truth onto Carl, I should say. And uh, he will employ us and will ultimately lead us to San Fierro, my favourite of the cities. I love this bit. We <laughs> are going to deliver it for us. Hey, man, you losing. You hallucinating this shit. What? Oh. Yo, Drew, come here, man. Welcome, friend. What's up? Carl here is going to be paying you your money. What you talking about? Now, Carl, I got a real do-gooder fucking with me, and I want you to take this evil green poison and drop it on him. <laughs> it's gonna ruin that asshole's career. Oh, bullshit. Dudes, you want mushrooms? Dudes? How about some DMT? No, not for me, man. I got a jet. Whew. Yo, Carl, pay the man. Whoa, man. I never thought I'd see that. A Fed out smoking me. What? What are you, dude? FBI? DEA? Nah, I'm more like a private investigator. Friend, you give off a positive energy. How about some Vietnamese opium? Yeah. Nah, I don't get down with that. But how do I know I can trust you then? What? I'm working for you now? I'm a man of peace, but some squares across that ridge are not respecting my peace. I mean, survivalist maniacs, right-wingers, fascists. They have a harvester, and I need one. Get it, then you can pay me. Namaste, Carl. The fuck that mean? Play the free. So this mission, you got to go up to this ridge, uh, this farm, steal a combine harvester, then take it to a um, another guy's farm and park it in the uh, the hangar. Take it to another guy's farm. Oh, no. You take it back to the truth's farm. Then uh, in a later mission, you will have a shit ton of weed where you have to like plant it. Um, th this is a setup mission basically for one that's in San Piero, guys. Will you plant it on a DA? No. Where am I going? So, actually, I mean, you can go up and around here, like the Fiera way, but there's no point, guys. What you do is follow this road, then head up this dare track right up there, and you can get make it right back on there, and you end up dropping it off in this thing here. Pretty easy mission, this. You, just, you can just jack it. You will have a number of people shooting at you, but you can actually run them over with the Combine Harvester. A bit of bike skill up, lovely stuff. We did have an upgrade off cam before. We had a driving skill upgrade as well. Uh, well, a boost, not a full-on upgrade. Already maxed out the psyching skill. We're doing really well for driving skills, you know. Getting these side missions out the way early is a benefit. Uh, we're speaking of, I think after this mission, guys, I'll probably end up doing the ambulance missions or just whenever I next finish a mission in um, Angel Pine. You know, whatever Carl says, that's not Whetstone. Whetstone's nearby. That's uh, Angel Pine down there. Oh, is this even going to make it up? You need a lot of speed. Freeway doesn't fare well on the dirt. Alright, we made it. That's a theme song for an entire career, and I should know. 1977, what a year. Here's some more dust in your face. Enjoy. So this will trigger a good scene, but you know, stay on your vehicle. Because if you run through here, you, you can kill people on the way, but there's just no real point. They have shotguns as well, and they will take a lot of damage at close range. Enjoy. I just tend to ignore most of these guys, and just go and steal a thing early. 
Eminence Front, that's a tune. I should really listen to K-Rose. <laughs> I can't say an Eminence Front though, so guys. Can't whack a bit of the hoop. And I applaud anyone if they get that reference by the way. I'm gonna roll you in some fucking big shit in a minute, boy. Getting this combine out of so nothing stop me. I think you have to shoot it a, a bit to get the guy out. Oh, there we go. He's a combine rustler. Right. Fuck's sake. Die, motherfucker. Give me that pump. So I'll show you now, if I run over someone, look out the back bit. Uh, it is pretty great. It's pretty gory. I'll run this guy over right now. Oh, yeah, you just see the body parts come out. What a horrific death that'll be, man. Fucking hell. Just minced, literally. Now, this car, we'll have a guy in the back who will shoot. Yeah, you might as well just outrun them, guys, honestly. It takes a lot to uh, actually, like, take this thing down. Now, the best way to do it is go left off here, then let you go down this hill. Just be careful, you can lose control. Um, however, if you just let it, you basically don't drive down, you basically just let it drop down. Take this fence out, turn on here, drive into the barn, and we are done. And we'll get another phone call after this mission as well, I think, off Caesar. So yeah, I'm pretty sure if I remember this rightly, and it is off Caesar, we do have to go back to Angel Pine for nothing but a cutscene. I'll call you when the hoop to do is ready. Just make sure you get that cash. Man, I love the truth. He's like this mad conspiracy not happy dude. Instant phone call then. Hey, Carl is Caesar. What's up? Bad thinking shit, that's what's up, Holmes. What's wrong? Where's Kendall? Is she okay? She's with me, she's okay for now. The varios los Aztecas, it's all over. There's a price on my head. Maybe Kendall's too. What happened? Trust, respect, honor, they don't mean Jack and Los Santos now. My OGs, my S's, all dead or in hiding, eh? Get out of town. Head over to Angel Pine, rent you and Kendall a trailer, and I'll meet you there. Okay. I just got some shit to take care of, and uh... No, just get my sister out of town someplace safe. Don't shit with me on this one. I can't lose her, man. Sure thing, Holmes. We'll see you in Angel Pine. Brian's death fuels that a lot, even more, so... That is Mission Pass, guys, but we do have, um... It's, it's just a cutscene. Uh, down here so I might as well include that on top of this episode it's not actual mission king in exile uh, so we'll cut straight there hey Carl how you doing sis this ain't over man I did this to take care of my woman but now I'm gonna head straight back home, and I'm gonna cap me some fucking dope dealers. Hey, look, you going to the body over that big willy bullshit, and you gonna get shredded. And I ain't losing you over no macho bullshit. Hey, relax, man. It's gonna get handled when it's time. We already know who the fucking bad guys are, man. You're sticking grocery for the smoke, and those chota pigs, Tempeni and then Pulaski. Smoke, he's a pusher, man. No, no, not Smoke. He might mess with Crash, but he don't mess with no yet. Come on, CJ, how you think he got that new house, huh? Just let that grow for life bullshit go and take a look around you. Word on the street is twice a week. Smoke sends a car out to San Fierro and the trunk comes back full of white. Shit! I gotta keep my eye on the highway to San Fierro. Maybe I'll see something. Just, just lay low and I'll be back. Hello? Where do we are, Carl? Why don't you call, eh? Well, I was just about to call you, but... Liar! You'll be hanging out with those sticky putas! No, no. If you just let me... It's silence! Get up here! We've got places to rob! Look, I'm in the middle of some shit right now. So that is just just that cutscene, guys. Um, for a round off of this episode, but we did get another phone call from Catalina, so we do have 
the next missions run from here but as soon as I'm in Angel Pine I think the next thing I'm going to do is the uh, ambulance missions for sure I would 100% recommend doing them here it, it just makes sense all the patients will be just in here uh, so that will be up next then um, after that we will get straight back to story missions with Catalina so thank you for tuning in this episode guys I hope to see you again